Hello friends, Yossi Kaplan here, your friendly Toronto and Costa Rica realtor. In this video, we'll discuss various options for getting Costa Rica residency. So first of all, what is Costa Rica residency? Why are we here? Well, I was selling and still selling Toronto real estate, and now I've expanded my services to Costa Rica. A lot of people, personal friends, myself, all want to go to Costa Rica. It's a beautiful place. The win there's no winter. Uh, it's it's more affordable to live than Canada, and the quality of life is fantastic. And mind you, a lot of us need some change. So we're looking into Costa Rica. A lot of videos about Costa Rica real estate, but this one is about residency. So first of all, what is residency? Residency is a state between being a tourist and being a citizen. So when you usually come to Costa Rica, you come as a tourist. Costa Rica used to give 90-day tourist visas. Now they give 180 days, six months. So for a lot of snowbirds that want to go and live in Costa Rica for the winter, you know, they live in uh, November and come back in April, uh, give or take, that's no problem. You don't really need anything else. But for those who buy property in Costa Rica and thinking of retiring in Costa Rica and spending more than six months a year, maybe most of your year in Costa Rica and then coming to Canada to visit or other places, you want to be a resident and then you can get a citizenship, a passport. So the, the um, residency has a temporary, you start with a temporary and you go to the permanent. So in, in this video, I'll show you exactly how to find all your options for residency in Costa Rica and how it works. All right, so a quick introduction here. I'm going to share screen. Right, here we are. So this is me, Yossi Kaplan, Toronto and Costa Rica Realtor. Here you go. So just so you know that that's my YouTube, YouTube slash Yossi Kaplan. So come here and you'll see a lot of videos about uh, Costa Rica real estate, Toronto real estate, so on and so forth. This tab here, the first thing I want you to know and to do when you go is to go to Google or to YouTube and type in Costa Rica residency. Now, big disclaimer here, myself and almost all of the people here are not legal experts. They do not give legal advice. This video is not legal advice. It's not Costa Rican advice. It's none of it, okay? This is my experience searching, for, for searching and sharing information about Costa Rica residency, information that I find online. But I want you to get started because a lot of people that buy in Costa Rica real estate from us asking, can I get residency? So this is to get you going. All right, I'm going to move to the next. So, so always do your own research, Costa Rica residency. This is right on YouTube, and it works really well. All right, I'm going to go here and share this tab now. Can you work in Costa Rica while on temporary permit? And I don't know if you can hear, but someone's vacuuming the hallway, and that's life in the city. So we'll take it. Additionally, even though Costa Rica offers temporary residence permits for foreigners who want to live in the country for longer than three months, they do not automatically allow the holder to work. And basically, when you look here, these temporary, uh, the, the, the temporary residents, according to these websites, do not allow to work, but the permanent one does. So remember that. And remember that when they say work, they mean working in Costa Rica for a Costa Rican company. You can still work remotely. That's not a problem. You can always work on a computer and serve your home office in Canada, wherever you are. Okay. And next thing I'll show you, and that's, that's to me, that's the best thing to do, is instead of going and looking at all, all people, and all, all YouTube, that's great, but go right to the source, okay? Go right to the source. And the source in this case is the Embassy of Costa Rica in Canada. And you can see here the visas. You can see your citizens. You can you can see. So if if you want to come as a as a as a as a visa, you can come here, and you can see you can come to a mess of 180 days. So that's really good. Now, if you wanted the residency, they also have a section for residency. Let me share that. And he says right here, and it's always taken it from the horse's mouth. Canadian citizen can en enter as tourist Costa Rica, fulfilling the requirements. Have. 90 days that's that's 180 now before the expiration uh and then they, they, they can extend it however if you want to have any type of residency there's a form here and they'll tell you what you need to do which is a bureaucratic process it's not particularly complicated or different than anything you'll find okay and the goal is right here these are the various versions 
of uh, residencies, the most frequent are. So let's go through these six. There are others, but th these are the most uh, requested. So this is the pensioner, the pensioner, okay? There's people that have pensions. Now for these people, and I'll open the PDF and I'll share it. Now it's in Spanish, so you'll have to translate it or get someone to translate it for you. But basically what it says here, it says that you have to have a thousand dollars certification. You have to have certified a thousand dollars coming to you as pension. They will allow you to live in Costa Rica. They'll they'll get grant you one of these categories of uh, pensioner temporary residency. The next one is the rentist or rentista, and that costs twenty five hundred per month. Now it's not that you have to pay it, but you have to bring the money in to Costa Rica, and these are USD twenty five hundred a month. Now how it's done? That's always dynamic, so always check with the source. Just download the page here. And take a look but what it means it used to be you deposit sixty thousand here and then you take 2500 now it's it, it it's a bit of a moving target but it, the 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 end of it is sixty thousand over two years which means 2500 a month 24 times and basically what they they do is they they just make sure you have enough money to spend in costa rica and you contribute to the costa rican economy and you're not going to become a burden on them so that's the logic here i believe uh under a child that's uh, some bureaucracy, I'm going to skip that. Uh, specialized worker on the contract. There's all kinds of categories uh, for various workers. I've seen one even for athletes. So you can take a look at that. Uh, but the other one is very interesting is the investment category. The investment category. Now, the investment category, and I'm going to show it to you. Uh, I believe it's the same form for all of them. The investment category used to be $100,000 to make an investment in real estate or whatever. And there was one fifty. And today, when I look, ta ta ta, it is two hundred thousand uh, USD. It's right here. Si la persona ingresa a Costa Rica como turista, okay. And I believe that this is what it says that you're gonna have to show the two hundred. No, sorry, <laughs> my apologies. That's two hundred dollars for uh, the fee, uh, but there's a two hundred thousand, uh, which is the amount I believe. And I may be wrong, it's maybe still 150. I don't see it, but last time I looked, I believe it was two hundred thousand dollars to come as uh, an investment. Uh, yeah, it's right here, two hundred thousand. Okay, it comprises many options of investment, being the most common the investment in real estate, Costa Rica with a property value at least USD two hundred. Now, what can you get for two hundred Costa Rica? You you can get a nice home or villa in Playa Lagarto. You can get the land. Or you can get a lot of things. Now, Costa Rica is not that cheap anymore. The property that we are selling, um, show you here. Uh, the property that, that we are selling um, are less than, much, much less than the average that I've seen in Costa Rica, especially in the Tamarindo, Guanacaste area. Uh, nonetheless, 200,000 will, will, will take you quite far in Costa Rica. But before you run to spend 200,000, obviously do your homework. This is not a legal advice. All right, so I'm almost done here. Um, if you want to know more, want to watch more videos, you can come to my website, yossikaplan.com, and I'll be making a lot of videos about various properties, resale, new sale. I do new sale for Playa Lagarto and for Nia, if you're interested in that crazy project. It's just massive, beautifully master plan community. Uh, and you can see here, interview with people that live in Costa Rica. This is the lovely Greg, on and on and on. So that's it for today. Uh, that was about getting residency in Costa Rica. What are your options? Tourist visa, um, temporary residency, permanent residency, and then the passport. Thank you very much. Any questions, comment or email.